If you've been following us along, you'll know that we've been spending a lot of time just navigating our way around this beautiful, amazing, chaotic city. And the BTS SkyTrain has been a very integral part of that process. And we've learned a lot in just in the past few weeks about how to make the most of the SkyTrain in our travels. So what we wanted to do today is pull together some of the tips and tricks that we've learned and just put them together in one package so that you can learn like we did but maybe a bit more quickly. Life is so easy. When you're buying your tickets at the ticket machine, you can buy tickets at the ticket machine first of all or you can go to the kiosk and speak to someone um, but we've been regularly using the machines and the first thing that you need to know is that when you get up to the machine up in the top right hand corner there's the option to switch to English so if you haven't learned how to speak Thai yet you absolutely have an English option there's no other options but English is perfect for us so that's the one we use. Nine. Next thing to keep in mind is that um, we there's two different types of machines one accepts coins only and the other accepts bills uh, for us we found between the two of us buying tickets that we, we usually spend about 70 baht total per train ride and so that's a lot of coins to put into the machine so I typically end up paying for a, any given journey with a hundred baht bill that's the most common thing so I would look to see if you can get a cash machine to do that that's what I recommend. Eight. The next thing to keep in mind is while you're buying your ticket at the machine you're going to be pressing the spot that you're going to. And the pro tip I have for this one is always make a note of the station at the end of the line on the route that you're going to because you're going to need this information right after you buy your tickets. You're going to go through the turnstile with your ticket and you will immediately need to know the last station at the end of the line. So we forget to do this all the time. So my tip to you is try to do better than us. Try to remember to find out what the last stop is because you're going to need to know that right away. Seven. And of course, make sure you hang on to your ticket. So you're going you're gonna to tap your ticket to go through the turnstiles to get onto your train. And you're going to have to return that ticket when your ride is over. If you buy a single journey ticket, you can't tap it on the machine to get out. It won't recognize it. You have to actually put it in the machine because these tickets get recycled and, and reused over and over again. Um, the only time you would keep your ticket and tap it on the machine to get out is if you have a full day pass or if you've managed to figure out how to buy a rabbit pass, which we have not yet done. Six. Like you can turn the machine to English to buy your ticket, all the announcements that are made on the train will also be done both in Thai and in English. Um, so you'll always be able to hear the name of your stop in English. It's very hard to miss your stop. We haven't done that yet. Five. In addition to the verbal announcements about which stop is next, you can always follow along on the guide will all will give you an indication of, of where you are relative to your stop. And we've seen everything from just a printed sign to these little kind of mechanical signs which light up at each new stop as you go through them and to, to full on video screens. So you don't really know what you're gonna get from one train to the next, uh, but you will be able to read your stop in English and try and follow along quite easily. Four. Siam. Central Station is a very, very popular place to clear off the train for two reasons. There's a huge shopping mall there, although there are shopping malls up and all up and down Sukhum so Road, but there's a huge mall there. And it's also a transfer station between Sky Trains. So if you don't plan to get off at that stop, I would suggest that you get out of the way because there will be a mad rush for the door and you don't want to be involved in that whole thing. Three. So as helpful as the boards are on the train and as helpful as the announcements are on the train, we'd also suggest that you download the BTS app on your phone. Um, again, uh, it will be enormously helpful. It will keep track of your progress on the train, plus also help you pick a route uh, as, as you're planning your travels for the day. So that's a good one. Two. The other thing is uh, you might as well bring a mask with you. Um, 
is you're not required to wear a mask, but there will be announcements that suggest that even though masks are not required, that they highly recommend that you wear masks and almost everyone to a T wears masks on the SkyTrain. And it's quite, it can be quite crowded as well. So uh, yeah, you might just feel like it's a good idea to have one. And we've actually ended up changing our plans on some evenings when we've forgotten to bring our mask. We just said, you know what? We don't want to be the only people on this train without a mask. So we're just not going to go. We'll, we'll change our plans. And that's the main reason we haven't been to the beer garden yet. But we're going to fix that tonight. One. And then the very last thing is, and this might take a little bit of extra energy, but just so that you know, there are times when trying to go across Sukhumvit Road when it's really busy, like at rush hour, say, for example, where the pedestrian crossings are really uh, difficult to get across. There's just no other way to describe it. Uh, but in those cases, you can actually use the SkyTrain station. There you go. You can actually use the SkyTrain station to get across the street if you want to. Uh, we've done it many, many times. The only the trade-off that you're making, of course, is that you have to do the steps up, over, and down. So uh, that's the few things that we've learned in our use of the SkyTrain just over the past couple of weeks. So I'm sure you guys all have some great ideas. Those of you who've been the SkyTrain might have way better ideas than what we've learned. By all means, add those into the comments to let us know what you what you've learned along the way. So we'll be happy to use your tips ourselves.